Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? So today we're looking at Shohei Otani. He's been absolutely amazing this year, offensively and on the mound. And I'm getting a ton of requests to look at his swing. And so we're going to break it down right here. We'll break it down exactly the mechanics that he uses. But before I even get into that, when I watch him swing, a few things come to mind. And what it is, is style versus core principles. Okay. So one of the unique things that he does is that first he starts pretty wide, but he does a very, very quick and early stride. Right. So he strides very, very early. And now he is going to make this move where essentially this is his load right here. Right. So it's unique. There's not a ton of players in the major leagues that are going to stride this early. But here's the important thing. For me, this is style. All right. What you look like in your stance as far as how far, far apart your feet are, where you put your hands, how you stride, how big of a stride, how small of a stride. All of that stuff, again, for me, is style. And sometimes people try to coach that. And oftentimes, that's the main thing people will try to coach. And it happened to me as a player. I was always a little bit in this mode of where I was wide. I was even wider than Otani. But I'd have a quick, short stride. I'd get my foot down early. And then I would make my move here where I would continue to load myself and hit. And a few people told me, well, that's, you know, that's not very common. You look a little unique and we need to work on that. We need to get you to stand taller and take a bigger stride and a couple of other things. Again, style, when you turn on the TV and watch Major League Baseball, all of the best hitters in the world, everyone looks different stylistically, right? You have players that stand with their feet close together and take big strides. You have players that, like Otani, do this. If there was a best way to do it, then everybody would do it. Right? And you can take players from all different generations. Right, Babe Ruth, think about Babe Ruth. He had his feet right next to each other. He took a really, really big move. And there's people that will watch a hitter, Right, say it's Babe Ruth or anyone, Barry Bonds, whoever, and say, see, Babe Ruth was really successful with his feet close together and taking a big stride. So you should put your feet close together and take a big stride. Other people will watch Shohei Otani. I get this a lot, right? You'll watch Otani and people say, see, he's wide. He gets his foot down really early, very small stride. That's the way you need to hit to be successful. I think people that look at it that way are missing the bigger picture. This is all style. What's important is how do you get your body loaded and then how does it unload? Right, and we call those core principles. There's four of them that I go into. Two of them are part of the loading process and two are part of the unloading process. Right? And so when I watch this, yeah, I see that he's wide and has this quick stride, but I don't I would never coach that, right? I would never tell a player that stands close together and feels really comfortable doing that that they should change that. Just like I wouldn't take Otani and say, "Hey man, you've got to put your feet close together because this is a little bit unique here." The important thing is, do you get into a good position to hit? Do you load properly and get into a good position to hit? That is key. If your stance, the style part of your swing doesn't allow you to get there, then maybe we make some changes. Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, so now, with the really short stride, one thing that players do when they stride really short, right? Here it is, his foot's down very early. But he still really hasn't completed the loading process. And when we talk about the loading process, we talk about getting this leg loaded. So you want to feel like your back pocket's going to get turned towards the pitcher. That's going to close your hips, and that's going to get the leg to load back. And so right here, you can see that move, right? Now, most hitters make this move when this foot is still in the air and striding. The only difference with Otani is his foot's already on the ground because he puts it down very early, but he still gets his back leg loaded. He still gets what we call a pullback with the upper body, right? It just happens again, boom, when his foot hits the ground. Most hitters are striding at this point. He is already on the ground, but you can see he continues to get the upper body loaded, right, with his pullback right here. Now, when it's time for him to launch the swing right here, he is in the same position that you'll see almost every hitter in. Rear leg is loaded, pulled back, upper body is ready to hit. How he got there with his really short stride is the same as someone that has their feet close together and takes a really big stride. They got to a very similar position, and that is the key. Are you loaded on time and in position to hit? And then from there, 
his upper body works back and his barrel works back. And so now he's able to enter the zone from the inside. He's able to get the barrel turned behind the ball. He's able to be through the hitting zone for a long period of time. And so all of the core principles, if you look at core principles, again, the things that we teach, he does them all. How he gets into position to do them all is unique. It's different than some guys. But his swing, his core principles are the same. All great hitters that I've watched, they all have the four core principles in their swing. They may get there differently. They may have different styles. But the key is they get into a solid position to hit by loading their body properly and on time. And then when they unload their swing, they do so with their upper body working back, their barrel turning back. And so that's really what comes to mind. And hopefully that helps you guys out. The core principles are there. The style is a little bit different. Everybody's unique. Really work on when you're working with players or maybe you're just looking at your own swing. Think about the core principles, the substance. Don't think so much about the style. I hope that helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're gonna to wanna to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you wanna go check it out.